All right, what's up, buddy? It's V-Man 1313. Yeah. And uh, I want to show you a video. I'm going to make this video about the setup that I did this time. So most of you, if you've kept up with my channel, have seen me doing the uh, the little trailer. And I'm going to make a video. I'm going to put everything back since this is my daily using for other things than just adventuring. So I'm going to put everything back. Then I'm going to make a video on it soon, well, after this, but not after this. <laughs> I want to clean everything up and then have a nice video on that. But I want to show you, and I'm going to start door by door um, on the things that I carry. I'm not going to do the passenger side today, um, under seat stuff. This is how it is. I have not touched it yet. Um, so you're going to see the mess. I'm going to pull it out as I'm doing some of the things so that way I can clean up while I'm doing it. Um, and the only thing that I did not take with me is this, this big black cable that's coming out here. Right now I just got it coming out on the solar panel. So I just threw the solar panel on for now um, to charge up the batteries. But I'm going to start yanking things out. So. Here's the food that I took as far as the uh, not cold stuff. Everything fit in this little bucket. That's not my usual thing that I do, but um, that's what I did. And I, as always, I took way too much food. And then I have my tripod that I always keep somewhere up here in the front um, for the camera that I'm holding right now. But because I was wanting to be able to move around with it, I'm going to have it in my hand. Uh, trash my drone we used it as you saw and then uh, jacket it was cold I'm gonna throw that back in the way back with the clothes um, walkie um, we used a whole lot best driver's seat stuff uh, camera it's driver's seat stuff to me that's driver's seat stuff um just drinks and stuff like that yeah on the way home i did stop and get hardy's because um at the timing I, I wanted to get home and i i wasn't in the woods anymore so i said you know what a little treat for me and that'll be good all right, I took, um, <laughs> the reason for the uh, red extension cord. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got boots that I carry with me in case I wanna um, video crossing a creek or something. I wanna go ahead and just go put the, put the camera out there first. Um, I carried this just in case we found electricity. We stayed somewhere that had electricity. Um, and that kind of thing and whatnot. That's two two extension cords there. This miscellaneous box is a new one for me right now. I'm gonna show you a couple of things in it. Um, battery packs I used. Let me bring this over. So right now this is miscellaneous stuff, but I have my chair, little camping chair that I like. I had my charger for the DJI for the Mavic and then um, this is just like a uh, plug a wall plug that goes to a here's the other side of it so it's a I could plug this into a wall and then anything that's uh, you know cigarette lighters I call them can be plugged in there um, what I do with that is sometimes the refrigerator um, to keep it running when I got electricity somewhere. Uh, the DJI charger. And then in here is just a bunch of um, just mounts for the, for the cameras. And that's all that's in here. All that is just mounts for camera. I have not gone through it. I bought this little pack thing. I have not gone through it, so it's just still sitting in there. I got some survival crap. Um, stuff in there as far as like knives and things like that I played with this I did take this out and play with it 
Um, just little silly stuff. That's for fun. That's more fun than true survival crap. Um, I just enjoy learning how to make my own fires and things like that. Um, this is the charger that I showed y'all. Uh, that charges up the battery system that's in here. This plugs into my power inverter that is built into the Jeep. And so when I'm driving, I hit that button and it power it charges this up. But what I like about it is whenever you turn the car off, that turns off. And so you're not running juice from anywhere. That's what I like about it. Uh, let's get rid of the extension cord already. All that's going into the trailer, so that'll be all right. Uh, power thing I'll leave up there. It needs to go into the right place. I'll show you where that goes usually. I guess I can't really take this out, can I? <laughs> but I'm going to hold on a second all right I did a quick video on um I did a quick video on that one so you saw that if not go check that out I'll make a that that'll be a separate video by itself my laptop's up here for a couple reasons but mainly um I needed to dump my video my camera into there while I was driving so that's out that's why that's there this is like a USB extension so I plug it in to here my uh, 2.1 amp plug and then I had power in the back during the night and that's the front uh, the laptop usually doesn't sit up here unless I'm needing to uh, dump my camera uh, footage out what's in here um, that's all cables that are um, SAE, is it called? This kind of cable. Uh, had different kinds. This was a new setup for me, so I was trying some different things. So that's that. Let's go to the other side real quick. All right, I'm gonna do passenger side here. Here's my bathroom and my toiletries and my toiletries right there. Um, I kept them right there for a reason. My ax goes back up there when I'm done today. Cleaning up, this holds the ax up there. Ooh, and there's the sheath, cool. Let me put this over here for now it all together hope this ain't bouncing too too much for y'all this usually sits beside me this box right here um usually nine out of ten times that i'm riding when i'm by myself this box sits beside me and it has a few things it has um a little protection knife type thing it has my jumper box so if i need to jump the car I can jump it my extra glasses an extra extra old phone in case my phone breaks I can take the SM uh, the, the sim card out put it in there um, got a couple little waters in there not sure why you know miscellaneous crap then most of this stuff is I have it where I can charge tons of stuff in here different kinds of things and so let me go get one thing hold on Okay, just for you that will notice. I took the uh, the solar pattern and just threw it there for now because the cables were in my way. What I wanted to get and show you is just put back things where they go. So I'm kind of doing the video two for one, putting things where they go and getting them plugged in like I like it. So that's the way this stuff sits here. Um, jumper, knife. Uh, important paperwork type stuff and then uh, miscellaneous BS and more uh, of the GoPro type uh, connection stuff this is usually up front with me um, and this trip all you see here is bedding and clothing um, that I need to take out to wash that's all that was this side so this whole side here is a mattress and then uh, towels, bedding, 
uh, pajamas and clothing that I wore last night and that kind of stuff. So that's this side. This usually sits up front with me. Um, this trip, it kind of did at some points and then at some points I took it and put it in the back whenever it was kind of bumpy. It could try to fall on me. All right, over here we got the bathroom that you saw in the video. Um, I don't know why I'm putting stuff over there. I should just be going ahead and throw it in here. Yeah, kind of dumb of me to just throw stuff on the ground. That doesn't matter because that's going in, into the camper for now. Um, but um, wasting time and energy doing that. All right, so this is a fan that I carry. I always need a sound. I have to have sound while I'm sleeping. And so um, this is a good one because it's 12 volt only. Endless breeze. It makes a nice sound. Uh, not overbearing. It makes a nice sound. And it blows good breeze if you need it. So if it's hot outside or it's hot in there, you can use it for the right reasons. But the sound is what I like about it. Um, carry my fishing stuff in here. This is more like the... Uh, over here is more like the adventure stuff. My fishing stuff. Binoculars, hiking. Uh, I see a dog toy in there. The dog left the toy. Um, and I carry the... Uh, my hiking stuff so that's kind of like the adventure area right in there and then we got the fridge that's still running this is sweet this is this truly is a game changer big time game changer um i carried milk i carried hamburgers i carried cheese i didn't have to worry about ice i didn't have to worry about anything all i had to worry about was plugging it in and out until i get used to it i'm not sure i, I didn't want to kill my battery even though Brian was with me and I have a jumper, I had two jumpers. I'm gonna show you the other one now. Um, I did not wanna kill the battery. So, yeah. Um, during the day, that runs off the car. During the night, I plug it into there. During the day, this is charging off the car. During the night, it's providing me electricity to the fridge and for charging my phone and that's really all i try to do with it i try to and that's why the laptop is up front i try to make sure my laptop is fully charged by the time i stop for camp so that's what that does during the day so you know when you're overlanding you're driving the whole day it's not like you're parked all day so you got plenty of power to charge your things and have it going all right back here let's see the fridge is going to stay in there for now so i'm going to have to go in from over here so with this setup that I have, I can't lift my lift gate, but I can lift my glass here. So that's cool. Again in here, I got clothes, 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 and extra uh, warmth. And then I have that battery charger that I've had for a while. And I keep it there because I can plug in USB and I can plug in, um, I can also plug in my laptop but I do not plug in my laptop to that because it's not a pure sine wave so that's dirty electricity you don't want to really mess with that until this but as an emergency I like having it there it does have a light and it's an extra charger for um for the car if I need it so that's that the backpacks you see are my clothes my tablets my laptop things like that that's all that was here no platform or anything under there and so then we come back to here. The last part that I'm gonna show you. This came out good. If you saw, I carried wood. That was awesome. I put trash in there that wasn't gonna fly out. That was awesome. And the only reason I really put it here was because it kept these apart from each other and it fit perfect. The three things fit perfect. I like that part of it. I hit a, um, <laughs> uh, I hit an embankment backing up trying to uh, do a, a u-turn at a very tight area and yeah I bent it up so we'll see what I'm gonna do with that I had some ideas anyway but all right and this is the reason um, these boxes are not gonna make it dust came in here when it got dusty and during rains it would probably get soaking well it will get soaking wet so this bag is just basically re uh, recovery gear I got shackles, um, toe straps, those kind of things are in here.
Good lord, that car was backfiring like the wazoozy. And then on this side, it's the toilet. And then um, trash bags, uh, toilet bags, and toilet paper. And I do have another toilet paper. Actually, I carry various. There's a toilet paper in here. And then I have one in my kitchen too. So that's that. That's just the toilet recovery gear. That's all that's in there. And then over here is the kitchen. And I'm not um, I'm not going through everything. I just want to show you what I'm using. Everybody's so different. There's no reason, you know, to go through all my stuff. Again, all dusty. This all needs to come out because I need to wash dishes tonight. So that needs to come out and wash. And whoopsie. These this needs to come out to wash. Where's my fork? Whoa, I hit something, some good bumps somewhere. This thing's all jacked up in here. What happened? All right, there's my fork. <laughs> and that's basically all I used. So, I mean, I carry all this crap now. Granted, I used the cans. Um, I used a little bit of aluminum foil. I definitely used the uh, pot holder. I used, the, I used the Parmesan cheese. I used the... I need to take that inside. And I got some scrambled eggs with bacon, which I should have eaten. May of 2049. <laughs> that's crazy stuff, isn't it? So yeah, that's it. That's the setup. Um, I used a lot of the stuff, but not everything. So I could condense this down to something. I really enjoyed the stove. I cooked one night on the stove. The problem with that is that it costs, costs a suit, soot, sorry, soot on the pan. So that's no fun. And that's it. That's my setup for this time. That's usually the setup. But it worked a lot better than I thought. And I think I can tweak it just a hair. Just enough to um, make it work better. Definitely like that box. Of course these boxes can't be used. I can't use these boxes. They're they're not good enough for, for what I need. This was just like this for now. Um, I wanted to try out. Is this going to work before I invest money into it? And I think it will. So I am going to invest a little money into making a box or buying a box. Something for here. So yeah that's the setup that i had for this trip now i get to clean it all up if you have any questions holler Whew, she got dirty and i like it it wasn't bad but it was good enough to have a good time <laughs> so all right that's it for now hope this was a little bit beneficial to you um i like to see people's stuff um but i always like to see it after they get back i want to see how it worked not before they go and they're like oh yeah this thing's gonna be great and this thing and you never know i used everything i used my food which i didn't need all of it but i used what was in there i used my electrical oh big time i used my laptop big time my computers i mean my uh video cameras um the charger battery maintainer and charger my refrigerator i mean there's nothing except for the recovery gear and that stuff that you kind of don't want to use uh that I did not use. I didn't use my max strikes, which is high lift. My shovel, I did use the axe, so I need to put that back. But yeah, now I think I'm gonna figure out a way to, to mount the solar panel maybe. But I don't know, like I say, we drive. I drive so far in a day. It's not like I drive for four hours a day and then stop. We drive a good bit. So I have lots of time to charge that thing up that is good enough for the night to keep the fridge running and and my my phone that's it that's all i really should be charging at night so yeah hope it was beneficial uh hope you enjoy the mess <laughs> next video i'm going to show you all of this and how i run it in there all right as always v-man 1313 out <laughs>